Today, we'll be going over terminal tech use in speedrunning. We have three types of terminal tech, terminal animation skipping, remote terminal state, and speedy uplink terminals. This tech will help optimize runs that contain terminal work. Disclaimer, please don't use some of these glitches in the public lobbies in the official GTFO Discord server. Animation skipping refers to typing in terminal commands while the terminal is running its animation for the entered command. As shown in the video, we first list all the available usable items in the zone. While the terminal is on its animation of progress, I pre-type the query command. You can see once the terminal finishes that the newly typed in query command is pre-typed in the console line. We can take it one step further and queue up commands for the terminal to run. It immediately runs the next command as it finishes the first, as shown. However, we can make the terminal run all commands instantaneously by adding the command CLS at the end, as shown in this clip. Get in. If we do a side-by-side -side comparison of using different commands in terminal animation skipping, we can see that the limiting factors are your typing speed and the length of the command sequence in-game. Using terminal animation skipping allows you to save time in terminal work and optimize time in your speedruns. Usually, when you are far away from a terminal, it would display a deactivated state with the Sentonian logo and detecting personnel animation, as shown in this clip. But what if I told you that you could have an activated terminal state like this? This is what this section is about. As you can see in this portion here, this would be the normal way of operating the terminal. You would either have to be interfacing with the terminal or standing in close proximity to it in order to have the terminal continue to run. In this scenario, when we ping the ammo pack, we can see how the normal principle applies. If we step away from the terminal while it's in the process of executing the command, the command and terminal freezes due to its returning to the deactivated state, and when we get into close proximity, it'll complete the pinging process. However, we can use remote terminal activation to allow us to unbind ourselves from the proximity factor for terminals. This allows us to keep the terminal executing, optimizing time. We can easily step away from the terminal and grab whatever we need or execute whatever command without waiting for it. So how do you put a terminal into active state? Simply leave the terminal interaction, hold down the in-game's comm menu, default keybind is Q, and walk away from the terminal. Easy as that. Now, we move on to our final section, speedy uplink terminals. We'll cover how to do uplink terminal objectives extremely quickly and show the truest optimized speedrun you could have combining all three techs shown in this guide. So, how do you do uplink terminal objectives faster? We combine both terminal animation skipping and logs to achieve speed. The only limiting factor to this is how fast you type. In order to find the correct sequence of uplink verification codes, you must find the term correct with the search term feature in the logs file. Then, when the first uplink code begins, you simply use terminal animation skipping to force the terminal to execute all next consecutively correct uplink codes. In theory, the first uplink code animation is your terminal animation skipping buffer and the latter codes, plus CLS, is the commands you are executing within the time frame, as shown in this R2B3 clip. Here's another example in R2C1, where you can see that if you do it fast enough, the shadow wave doesn't even spawn at all. On me, got a bio scan. If we do a side-by-side -side comparison of time between normal and speedy uplink, you can see the major time difference you save while speedrunning, making this the meta for optimizing terminal objective levels.
Here's another comparison between uplink terminal time in the level R2C1. We can see that speedy uplink cancels wave while normal uplink spawns shadows. You can also see the major time save and optimization that occurs. Before we didn't know about logs and terminals. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. Guys, we had a code called Hell. Nice. Lastly, incorporating all three texts into one to maximize optimization. Caution, if you are resetting uplink objective levels, don't reset too quickly, or you will have a warden objective bug as shown in these two clips. You will have to wait until the artifact heat message pops up during the drop sequence. You can see in the top left corner that there is no uplink address. In the terminal, if you try to run the command, it just spams the command back. There are different variations of this bug, i.e. it spawns in Shadow Surge instead of regular waves in R2C1. This clip here is the correct way to reset. This friendly reminder is brought to you by Wesley. As a recap, we have three advanced terminal glitches. 1. Terminal animation skipping. This refers to pre-typing plus running commands during the time another command is being executed by the terminal, effectively skipping the loading animation of the previous command. 2. Remote terminal activation. This refers to keeping the terminal in the active state, not the deactivated state, and removing the need for proximity for the terminal to run commands. 3. Speedy uplink terminals. This refers to completing uplink terminal objectives very quickly using a combination of two terminal techs, effectively cutting down time during uplink objective levels. To fully optimize your speedruns, I recommend to practice and implement these terminal techs. Huge shout out to Kenny for the animated terminal comparison and Wesley for teaching us this tech. Also to Brad, Jishwasha, and Dark Ava for helping me obtain some of these clips. Their YouTube channels will be down in the description below, so be sure to check them out. That's it for this guide, I hope you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to drop down a like, and I'll see you prisoners down in the complex.